When you've got nowhere else to go, there's Sideshow Lounge. We will take you in and teach you how to survive on the mean streets. Tonight's guest is a chimera named Herbert. I'm Brian Hansen along with two other guys. And I sing the body electric, but not in the shower because that's just damn dangerous. I'm Pontius Pilates. Call me Ponch. And I'm Stan Wolf. Sam. Sam Wolf. Brian, why didn't you introduce us? Just playing it safe, Ponch. Come again? Well, as you both know, it's contract negotiation time here at KRFYN, and that usually spells trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you both remember our intern, Scotty, right? Yeah. Nope. Well, last year he came to me to renegotiate his contract, and he had some pretty severe demands. Yes! Yes what? Now I remember him. Little fella. Always high, right? Yes, Sam. And that's at the heart of what I'm saying. Scotty demanded a load of weed be at his disposal in his new contract. Hmm. Yes, Punch? Just thinking. Also, I didn't know interns had contracts. Not for money. But everyone that works here has a written arrangement. And when Scotty wanted to overstep his, I had to take rather draconian measures to send a message to the others. That's why you sent him into the nuclear pile under the building? And that's why I introduced you and Sam as two other guys. If you had made unreasonable demands, I would have had to replace you. Easier for syndication if you're simply two other guys. Makes perfect sense. Brian, you're so smart. Well, considering a huge part of my contract states, and I quote, the surf named herein is both property of and subject to KRFYN, I'm not taking any chances. I am, however, having the papers looked at by legal experts. You can't handle the truth! Not now, Sam. Yeah, those are really old contracts, like from the 1990s. Language was pretty archaic back then. I remember we had this one guy who kept getting in trouble for saying dirty stuff on the air, and he... Who's on the show tonight? Sorry. Tonight's guest is a really and for true chimera named Herbert, and we'll be back to talk with him after these messages. You wanted your report to dazzle them at the presentation, but you stayed up too late partying with whores. Now if you hand in your work, you're going to be fired. But the presentation is in 15 minutes and there's no time to write up a damn thing. What are you going to do? So, Bob, let's take a look at your report. Um... We're waiting. You're fucked. Or are you? Hey, everybody, look out the window. Is that a clown? Yeah, and he's doing a teabag dance. What the hell? Presentation canceled. Let's all watch the clown. Yay! Yay! Wow, that was close. But you just had your ass saved by Herbert the Clown. Herbert is a retired circus clown whose long and unsightly balls got him fired from the big top. After descending into depression-fueled alcoholism, Herbert pulled himself up by his sack and made a new career. Now he teabag dances for distraction in any situation where you need to make a fast exit. Oh, Scott, I'm having such a good time on a blind date, aren't you? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me show you more pictures of my cat, Furzy Puff Puff. Yeah, great. Oh my god, what's that? Is that a clown doing a teabag dance? That's disgusting! I agree. We better leave from separate doors. Call me! Herbert the Clown is not certified by any government or entertainment agency. But his teabag dance is recognized as one of the nine wonders of the back alley world. It's a thing of hair and brownish scrote to behold. And with a sliding pay scale, Herbert's services will fit into any budget. So don't get stuck in an uncomfortable situation ever again. Herbert the Clown. He'll teabag dance your troubles away. Look at him swing. Meow. America's in trouble, and there's only one man to call. Herbert Slumpkin, super spy. He's the FIA's best, but he does things his own way. Slumpkin, your methods are making a mess of Washington. The president's breathing down my neck. You're reckless. But those plans have to be found, Director. If the KGG gets away with the briefcase, there'll be no stopping them. No stopping them at all, I tell ya. And when it comes to the ladies, he's a super spy and those guys always get laid. Oh, Herbert, your hands are like so many hands. Give me all of that hot Russian ass. Is that a metaphor? This fall, there's a man who can save us all from destruction, and his name is Slumpkin. 
Herbert Slumkin. Kapow, ladies. We're back from those wonderful ads. Don't you just want to buy all their products and use their services? Sam, doing a show here? Sorry. In the studio with us is a chimera named Herbert. Ponch, if you would. Thank you, Sam. Welcome to the show. May I call you Herbert? Indeed you may. And my full name is Herbert Scratchy Fertastic. Forgive me, but you sound like a female. Am, am I off base? I mean, with a name like Herbert, I just assumed you were male. Common mistake, but in truth, I'm female. Understood. On to other topics. I've never met a chimera before, but I understand the concept. What is your combinational makeup? I'm glad you asked, Ponch. I'm a mixture of three distinct species, toy poodle, pit viper, and standard poodle. Two of those are poodles. That doesn't seem all that distinct. Also a misconception, but I don't blame you. There are true differences. Such as? One is far less French. I see. And the pit viper. I do see you have quite pronounced fangs there. Do you secrete and inject poison? Why, Mr. Pilates, are you flirting with me? Maybe. Actually, I reserve my poison for only the most extreme situations, and I've been genetically engineered to secrete a non-lethal venom. That leads me to my next question. And forgive me if this is too personal, but... Just how did you come to be? Please do not tell us if it's gross. Sam. <laughs> oh, you boys are silly. Of course it's not gross. I was born in the lab of Dr. Master. Oh, yes, we've heard of him. One of our staff used to work for the doctor in his castle. Really? Who? Igor Stravinsky. Oh, my, I remember him. He used to feed me and take me for walks when I was just a puppy hatchling. He was a doll. I miss him. Might I say hello? I don't think he's scripted into this episode. What? Do you find life as a chimera difficult? How do you mean? Well, integrating into society and such. I mean, do people stare? Do they make rude remarks? That sort of thing. At first, when I traveled the country, I found myself on the receiving end of a lot of cruelty. But since returning to the bi-state area, I've known nothing but acceptance and am flourishing. So you have a nice life here. You work? Yes, my life is wonderful and what anyone would consider normal. And I do indeed hold a very fine job. As? I shave hobo testicles at the shelter downtown. Yuck. And why? You're like the Florence Nightingale of hobo sacks. Still, why? Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have. Thank you, Herbert Scratchy Fertastic, for joining us. And please come back again. Anytime, cutie. Well, um, we'll be right back. Ice cream is for fatties, but sherbet is good for you and made from fruit juice. You like it juicy, don't you? I'm Herbert Herbertson, and I've just opened Herbert Sherbert in our fine city. Who wants chocolate and vanilla when they can have lime and peach and mango and strawberry and orange and tangerine and plum and pineapple? Nobody, that's who. And my sherbet is all self-serve. That's a selfie with a top shelfie. <laughs> I make the sherbet by hand, which means my fingers are all down in it for a long time. And then I lick my fingers and taste my own goodness on them. Hot potato. I mean, cold, cold sherbet. Sure, summer is the best time for icy treats, but you can enjoy Herbert sherbet any time of the year. It's not like I'm closing down for nine months, so get your tushy in here and have some creamy, fruity, yummy all year long. Mention that you heard this commercial and I'll give you 6% off your next cone. Oh, and I also make all the cones by hand, so you know they'll be sweet and warm. I'm Herbert Sherbert on the corner of Cherry and Galena in our fine city. I'm holding some in my mouth right now. Hi, I'm Ponch Pilates of Sideshow Lounge and FingerDude.com. And I can't tell you how many social diseases I've had. No, I really can't tell you. Court order. But you may have something you need to get rid of and don't know where to go. If that's the case, the Herbert Herpes Clinic is now open in Ridleyville. Now, despite the name, the Herbert Herpes Clinic can scrape, burn, wipe, snip, or inject away just about anything you contracted during a session of unprotected nasty. And most of their services can be paid for under the table with cash. 
No need to tell your parents you have a bump or a rash or an inflamed what's Just sneak on over to the Herbert Herpes Clinic and have them do some sort of discreet procedure that'll send you on your way back to humping. The Herbert Herpes Clinic, B26354 Deckard Avenue, Ridleyville. Call them for more information. It's time for the KRFYN Look Witness News with anchorman Dank Undermusk. I'm Dank Undermusk, and here are tonight's breaking headlines. A small fire broke out in the pants of Helena Softhumid, a local prostitute. Firefighters responded within seconds, as most of them were already on the scene, and had the blaze under control in no time. A fire department spokesperson was quoted as saying, The flames got pretty big and smelly, but you have to expect this kind of thing once in a while in a place that popular. Ms. Softhumid declined to comment. A driver of a big rig fell asleep at the wheel early this morning and slammed his truck into the guardrail of the Comachinga Highway near Adverse City. The truck jackknifed and flipped, spilling its entire contents all over the thoroughfare. No one was hurt, and state policeman Fred Puerto Rico told KRFYN that 44,000 gallons of lotion that spilled would most likely be cleaned up by summer. In sports, the R-Fine Central High Fighting Wigmakers lost 318-0 to their rivals, the Lumino City Perfects, in the opening game of the season. Stay tuned to KRFYN News as it happens and after. I'm Dank Undermusk, now back to Sideshow Lounge. And we're back. Pretty good show tonight, eh, guys? No, not bad at... Oh, excuse me there, Posh. I have an urgent matter to discuss with Dr. Handsome, you see. By all means, go ahead. What is it, Igor? No, 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 it's not that. It's my contract, you see. I need to renegotiate it. Oh, do you now? Igor, be careful. Uh, always am, Posh. As a matter of fact, I have brought my lawyer, Chip, here to help me. Say hello, Chip. <coughs> Igor, that's not a lawyer. Well, okay, you got me there. Uh, Chip is just a paralegal, but he's very knowledgeable and he's gone over my contract with a five-tooth comb over. Uh Uh-huh. And, as it turns out, I have not been getting the correct end of the stick in either hole. Ouch. And I'm afraid I must demand some changes. Such as? Uh, Here on page seven, well, it would be here if Chip hadn't eaten it. It stated that I was supposed to be the castle slave and product tester. uh, And to my limited knowledge, I have tested very few products and do less slaving than I was led to believe I would. Less slaving? I know. It's a travesty there, Posh. I want it rectified. So you want to be given more scut work and be allowed to test an even greater number of dangerous and or poisonous products? In a nut sack. (laughs) Done. Thank you, Dr. Hansoap. I'm sorry, Chip, and I had to drop the hammock on you like that. Um, no problem. And that's it for tonight. I'm Brian Hansen. I'm Ponch Brian, Pon- Brian, what's the deal with Igor's lawyer? We're saying goodnight. I mean, is Chip one of those candelabras like Herbert? No, he's just a badger. As I said, I'm Brian Hansen. I'm Ponch Pilates. And I'm Sam Wolf. Good, Good night. Good night. Sideshow Lounge is produced by Hello Cowboy Productions. All rights reserved. Join us next week when we interview Val Kilmer. Hello, cowboy! You're like the Florence Nightingale of hobo sacks.